During my way to Max, I used old school RuneScape Mobile quite a bit, whether I be in my car or be at work or whatever it might be. These are the top five methods that I used on old school RuneScape Mobile to AFK or to just gain some money or experience while on my phone. Old School RuneScape Mobile is quite underrated. You can do pretty much anything on it. Some people only play on mobile when they don't have a computer. Some people even do things like the Inferno on mobile, so it is really possible to do anything you want. Me personally, I like to use mobile for fairly AFK methods or if I'm away from my PC for a long time. For example, if I go on a a two-day trip or whatever, I can log in, do some farm runs, do whatever I might need to do on RuneScape on the go. So I'm going to just be showing you the top five mobile methods that I use all of the time. Coming in at method number one is crafting blood runes. Now this is a really good method. You will need 77 rune crafting and a total of 73 agility for the shortcut. The reason I really like this method on mobile is because it is fairly AFK. All you have to do is sit here, mine a full inventory and uh, of these dense essence blocks and then go ahead and charge them. This process is super AFK, so you can be doing anything. I did this a lot in my car when I was parked and just needed something to go ahead and do. This is a great method. It takes you a few minutes to fill up each inventory. Once you gather a full inventory, all you want to go ahead and do is climb up these rocks. Fairly easy to go ahead and do on mobile, especially now that they have these green markers, which just makes it even easier to do in, you know, a different type of environment, whether it be in a car or at work or whatever. All you have to do is go up here and just charge them at the dark altar. And uh, then you're going to need to use your chisel. This is even easier to do on a phone, in my opinion, than um, on the PC. So once you charge these up you're gonna want you put your chisel somewhere here at the bottom and spam click all of these essence blocks then go back mine yourself another inventory which makes it super afk once the second inventory is done make sure you go ahead and charge them here again make sure they turn dark and then you just want to run up the hill a little bit and this is where you actually go ahead and charge the rune so pretty much you want to walk on the path right here all the way up and around to the blood altar now, this isn't the most AFK thing in the world, but uh, it's semi-focused, so if you want to maybe watch a movie, this is a really good thing to do while watching a movie, because most of the time is AFK, probably about 30% of the time you're running, maybe even less than that, and actually using the chisel and stuff like that, very good thing to do while watching a movie and AFK on your phone. Once you come up to the blood altar, you just want to go ahead and craft the runes, and then obviously the remainder of the blocks you're going to need to chisel again, so I'll let me go ahead and do that and then obviously craft the remainder of the blood runes so yeah very good way to train your rune crafting on mobile and it is also a very good money maker out the, in the process now the next one on this list is killing gargoyles this will require level 75 slayer this is what I take to gargoyles. When I first get there, I bring the Slayer Helm just so I can avoid all of the other creatures. But then when I'm in there, this is the basic setup that I'm going to be wearing. Full Guthans will pretty much heal you all you need. So you will never have to eat or pray. I just bring any cape. I'm using crafting cape just to get out of there easy. Ring of Wealth helps you pick up all of the drops. In the inventory, I also just bring some super combat potions, some alchemy runes, and then also bring the rock hammer. Getting to the gargoyles is fairly simple. If you go ahead and have the agility requirement of 61, you're, you can use this spiky chain. If not, you're going to have to run all the way to the other side and climb up the stairs. It's not too much of an issue. It just saves about a minute of time. Fairly easy to go ahead and do. Once you have uh, get up here, this is where you're going to want the Slayer Helmet or else these Aberrant Inspectors will drain your stats, which can be fairly annoying. You're going to want to have Auto Retaliate on for this method to work out fully and once you get here make sure to put your guthans on run into the room make sure there's not too many people here you don't want to crash anybody and su sip a super combat potion and you get to afk for 10 minutes straight now the gargoyles are so good i made a video about killing them for an hour i made a video on loot from 10 10 000 gargoyles you make absolute bank here and if you have the ring of wealth you'll pick up all of the coin drops and uh other things like 
you can just pick up or high elk you make a ton of money here you get so much combat experience this has got to be one of my favorite things to do on mobile if i'm logged into this area i just log into mobile watch a movie downstairs or whatever it might be if i'm afking in the car this is such a good method to go ahead and do it's got to be one of the most AFK combat methods ever. When the gargoyles stop being aggressive to you, you can simply just run over here or run down the stairs and run back up and head into the center and it is back to AFK time. As you can see, we the Ring of Wealth already picked up the 500 GP for us. You pretty much should never die depending on your combat level, but uh, if, if you do notice yourself dying, just get your uh, stats up a little bit and you should be fine. The super combat potions do help a lot with not dying here unless you're like max combat or something. Honestly, this is a solid 10 out of 10 method. Now the next one is bank standing. Bank standing is very good to do whether you are training crafting, bletching, herb lore, or my personal favorite cooking which is the most AFK. Bank standing is such a great thing to go ahead and do. It's usually between 30 and a minute of AFK time, which is great for something like mobile, something that I actually did quite a lot back when I was in college in class. I would be sitting on my phone cooking or fletching or whatever it might be. Maybe I don't recommend doing that, but that is what I did. Very good for if you're parked in the car waiting or maybe if you have a chill job and you can go ahead and do it at work on your phone or even just sitting watching some TV. Bank standing is a great thing to do. You would be very surprised with the amount of XP you can get even if you just log in for 10-15 minutes here and there. It can add up to an extra 100-200k experience per day. Also, it's fairly easy to go ahead and bank on mobile and just, you know, instantly start cooking or fletching or whatever it might be again. Very good method. Not the most AFK, but you can make a decent amount of money depending on what you are doing. Cooking is usually about 100 GP profit per fish. Probably the thing I actually used mobile for most was making sure I caught up with my herb runs and birdhouse runs. This is some simple actions you can go ahead and do on mobile where you only have to be logged in for a few minutes at a time and it can make a dramatic difference especially if you're playing something like an Iron Man account where doing these birdhouse runs and herb runs are extremely important. It just takes about a minute of your time and you can go ahead and gain some very valuable resources or make a ton of money in the process with just doing these simple runs every single day especially the herb runs i found to be very good there's a lot of times in your life where you have about 10 minutes you need to go ahead and wait for something instead of you know playing flappy bird or scrolling through something like instagram you can easily go ahead and do a herb run or even just a simple thing like a birdhouse run to pass the time instead or if you know you're busy in your real life you can do this on your break i remember when i was working a lot back in the day i would do the um the herb runs and birdhouse runs on my phone on mobile just to be the most efficient as I possibly could. Just in that short birdhouse run which literally took a minute we went ahead and made a total of I didn't even open them all yet Jesus we went ahead and made a total profit of 100k in one minute make sure you do this log into mobile it's so easy to go ahead and do and you also gain a decent amount of hunter don't even get me started with the herb runs though these really stack up if you can do this what i used to go ahead and do for my herb runs is in the morning i would go ahead and get all the necessary teleports or whatever i might need to go ahead and get and then just grab say i wanted to find to farm irits that day i would just grab my entire stack of irits made sure i have all of the exact composts and whatever it might be that i needed and uh, then just go ahead and simply just do run log out do the run in the opposite direction, log out, do the run in the opposite direction, log out. And then when I would log into the PC at the end of the day, I would have two or 300 extra herbs to go ahead and use for herb lore. Being an Iron Man, this helped a lot because you know, if you're playing, if you go home and play on the PC and you do something like Slayer or a boss, you really don't wanna stop to go ahead and do your farm run. So if you can go ahead and do it throughout the day on mobile, it saves you a ton of time and it really pays off. Next is going to be pickpocketing arty knights. This is a great method that I used to do all of the time on mobile because it is so easy. What you're going to want to have for this method is the full rogues equipment outfit. What this does is it will give you a 100% chance to get the double loot from pickpocketing. This makes it so you get double the money here. 
Next, what you're going to want to do is go to a very populated world, World 2, I would recommend, and then head to the Artie Bank. This is usually where the Artie Knight is located, and you're going to want to go to your settings right here and change your NPC attack option to hidden. Now, what this does, it will make you not accidentally click attack on the Artie Knight, and all you have to do is just spam click with your finger over and over and over again this is such a chill method now this wouldn't be afk per se but it is very easy to go ahead and do this is like cookie clicker if you guys remember that game but you actually gain experience and gp from it very very good method to go ahead and do especially on mobile just because on mobile it's even easier you're just tapping your finger you don't even have to click a mouse and uh great method to go ahead and do like again while watching a movie parked in your car or even at work plus if you have the rogues outfit you will make a decent amount of money here iron man or not you will get a ton of money going from not you know whatever it is to 99 thieving solid method to go ahead and do on mobile now i know i said five but i'm gonna throw a bonus method in here that i did quite a bit this is not really afk and you can't you can make a little bit of money but not the most ever i just find agility is a great skill to go ahead and do on mobile you just click click Click. And as I said, with mobile adding these little green boxes, it made agility even easier to go ahead and do on mobile. Agility is one of the slowest skills in the game, so if you, you know, you can get, you know, even the little bit of experience in your downtime or on mobile, it'll save you a ton of frustration when actually logged into the PC and wanting to go do something like bossing or PVMing or raiding or whatever it might be. Um, doing agility on your phone is super relaxed and chill. Instead of sitting at a chair and a desk, you can maybe do it in bed or maybe do it on the couch or in your car or whatever it might be. I did a ton of agility. I would say agility was probably the most thing that I did on my phone wasn't my favorite method to do on the phone but it is probably the thing that i did most on my phone in the end there going for the max cape it was just because it was so good to go ahead and do in the in the car parked or whatever it might be in afk time it's just such a chill thing to do on the phone and if you are a main account these marks of grace will add up to a decent amount of profit you can probably make about 250 to 300 thousand gold per hour at just training agility and doing it on your phone super chill method to go ahead and do well anyways thank you guys so much for watching the entire video today if you went ahead and watched the whole video go ahead and comment six down in the comments below really hope you guys enjoyed this these are the top things that i love doing on mobile and i like to try and learn more on mobile i want to try and get to do bossing or something like that on mobile i'm not that advanced yet i know some of you play the entire game on mobile and the people who do that are honestly legends but if you want to take advantage of mobile and gain some extra experience gold or whatever it might be these are the these are great methods you should go ahead and try them out for yourself anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in the next one see ya later